Hi, good morning. It's Gene from Mavstar Observatory. Guys, in this video, we're going to talk about the dynamo theory uh, in a little detail. But before we do, I just want to say you know, a big thank you to those people that are supporting this video. And uh, yesterday, I put a video up on YouTube just doing a little half year audit of where we're going and what we've done. And you know, I try and explain to you guys that you know, the queen wants answered are you know um, not the easiest to do and even more so on a little budget I'll get straight to the point on this you know yesterday the observatory raised 66 pence and that is probably an all-time low uh, you know in in funding for the observatory we cannot run what we do here at 66 pence you know when we send just you know, a parcel somewhere uh, anywhere, you know, we're talking 15 quid just for that, as well as, you know, investing in equipment and things. You just can't do it. What I was trying to say to you guys is, look, we have done something really great and we've got so far and we haven't got even halfway yet, but we are close to that point, I believe. And the only way we're going to continue is by raising money for the observatory, putting more equipment out in the field and you know continuing to push forward it's like if you're on a you know a good four mile run in the morning you you know after that first mile you start to feel the wall as they call it and the only way you're going to get past that wall is by determination you know getting your second breath and continuing to run just push through it i guarantee by the time you get to the third mile of that four mile run you know you are determined then to finish that four mile run because there's only one mile left We've got to get that sort of mentality in our heads, guys. Um, you know, we need to we need to raise the subscription numbers. We need to raise the funding. We need to get some more um, patrons on board. And you know, the only way we can do that is by justifying what we do here at the observatory. And that is what I was trying to do yesterday in the video, just explain to you guys. You know what? We know where the magnetic north pole is heading. You know, we know at what rate it's heading there. We know what's going to happen when it gets there. But we haven't we haven't answered all the questions to this. You know, our work is far from done and, you know, uh, stamped off, you know, and checked out. Uh, you know, we've got a lot, long way to go. Um, but there you go. You know, we can't, you know, continue on 66 pence a day. So, you know, some something needs to happen, guys. You know, we need more people to step forward and join us, you know, in, in this little war on trying to find the truth out because our our mainstream organisations are not stepping up with the data, with the truth. I mean, have they have you, just ask yourself this question. You know, in the last week or so I showed you where the magnetic north pole was migrating. I told you why it was doing that. Has any of these mainstream organisations showed you in any detail what I've done over the last few weeks? And if not, why? They've got millions of pounds of funding and they have not come forward and said, look, this is the state of our planet right now. This is the magnetic north pole. This is where it is right now and this is where it's heading. And as of the consequences of this magnetic reversal... You know, it is affecting the jet streams. We've got more cosmic rays inbound. It's going to affect biodiversity across all the ranges. Has any of these organisations, with the funding, come forward and said anything like this to you guys and explained it like we have here? You know, this is the, the problem with the world that we live in right now. You've got too many people that shouldn't be in the positions that they are they are getting the funding, they are sitting on their arses doing nothing and, you know, it is going along as though it's a normal day. That's not the way to, um, and you guys know it, that's not the way to to get a job done, that's not the way, you know, to, to run anything. Sitting on their arses, being paid over £100,000 a year to deliver nothing, garbage. I mean, let's face it, the world... Uh, the organisation in charge of releasing the magnetic new magnetic uh, data in January couldn't even get the dates right. 
on on the document they released it took somebody after i mentioned it on my channel to get in touch with them to amend it that's the level of this ridiculous situation that we are all in right now these organizations receive millions of pounds it, i wonder what it is being spent on this money is it being spent on private yachts somewhere in the harbour because it certainly isn't getting spent on the topic and you know these people might have the credentials but they've got no uh, enthusiasm to do the job that they've been paid to do and you know actually deliver something back from uh, the taxpayers money that they've spent it, it really frustrates me you know I've gone through my life exactly like this you have the ideas you demonstrate them these big you put it to the big companies what they think is hang on a minute we're the big company you know we've got the experts and you know we're not going to we're not going to take on this outsider and his theories and things like that because we are the organization that delivers and if anyone's going to deliver anything to the public it's us but you know what clearly demonstrated they don't Yeah, you know, this is the world we're living in. It makes you, makes you wonder where we're going to be in ten years' time. Have we? Have, you know, can I ask a question, guys? Have we hit the peak in our technological evolvement, evolu sorry, evolution? Have we hit that peak where we're not going to go any further? Have we already started to decline and go backwards? Because if that's the case, then we're never going to be any better than what we are right now. You know, I mean, we've we've been demonstrated by their capabilities with just the way they've handled, you know, this outbreak, shutting down the entire world economic system for seven weeks has a massive impact. And and some people are saying, some economists are saying that this is going to take ten years to get back to normal. Yeah, I don't think. It is ever going to get back to normal. I'll tell you why. Because things are getting worse progressively every day. Nothing is improving as far as I can see. You know, these agencies need kicking out, 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 out the door. I'm telling you, they need to be kicked out the door because they are not delivering nothing. I said I was going to talk about the dynamo theory, but that's that's basically all it is. And and they don't know what, what is going on inside the Earth, to be fair. Uh, you know, they can study earthquakes, major earthquakes that, you know, ring the inner core like a bell of this Earth. And, you know, by knowing about seismic waves, they can look at um, Raleigh waves, P waves, S waves. You know, they can study subduction zones and convergent zones around this world, but they are never going to find out, with the way they're going about it, what is actually responsible for generating our magnetic field. They haven't, to date, even though they have tried a few times to recreate a dynamo similar to what is going on in our Earth or out Earth, um, to, to find out if they could build a, mag you know, a magnetosphere. You know, they could replicate something that worked like an inner core dynamo, but they have failed. Oh, well. I really, I really am lost for words. We're in a bit of a situation. Things need to improve. stuck for words guys to be honest i will say that you know um we've got to we've got to push forward you know we've got a bit of we've hit a, like a major slump here at the observatory and you know it, it is um soul destroying when you see you know your hard work uh go on the line and you know the only person that comes forward out of thirty thousand for that day was one who donated 66p we've got to do better than that guys and you know there's no other opportunity for me but to ask for your help here because we don't get the taxpayer funded money you know I would love to take a break sit back in an office 
and you know deliver nothing you know it's the way of the world someone said to me once you know it is always the way gene people find themselves in these really nice positions of work but they're not the ones that deserve it and they wasn't the best qualified for that job you know it's it's like we are still predators you know with the, with the species with the eyes in the front of our head still and we're still acting like predators I think some of you know where I'm coming from guys I'm going to leave it here you know it's the beginning of the week and I'll say what I usually do there's a link down there we've got to do better than this guys we are about to go into a new month and there are things that we need here at the observatory and we're not going to get them simply because we're just not getting the funding and I've always said I want to keep it publicly funded so that we answer to you guys so there's a link down there if you want to support us and I'm going to say what I usually do as always, bye for now.